USS Anchorage, one of the newest ships in the Navy's fleet. It's so new, most of the crew's been aboard for only six months. To our last night on shore, bring to the home. To work out the kinks, sailors are preparing for another in a series of shakedown cruises. But this trip will be much different than the others. Hi, Brian Clint. Welcome aboard. The three-day outing at sea will have civilians on board. Hi, Lindsay, how are you? Hi. The Navy calls it a tiger cruise, where the mothers, fathers, children, and siblings of crew members get a taste of ship life. Welcome aboard your warship. It's the Navy's version of an open house. As American taxpayers, as American citizens, you are who we represent as we go around the world and do what we do. As Captain Brian Quinn addresses the guests below, Observe all standard safety precautions for handling lines and attention. Up on deck, sailors are getting the ship ready to leave the port in Oxnard, California. Everybody fall out to your station on your lines. Oh, no! At 684 feet in length and over 100 feet wide, it takes nearly all hands on deck and a small fleet of tugs to guide the anchorage to sea. <laughs> ship is finally in open water, at least as open as things can get when wrapped in a thick blanket of fog. The view improves just enough to spot several sea lions huddled on a buoy. Please roll down, ball cap, other loose gear about your first gear. One of the main features of the USS Anchorage is its landing deck, a floating airport for helicopters and marine ospreys. On this trip, it doubles as a stage for a shooting demonstration of the ship's 50 caliber machine guns. Fun for the Tiger cruisers and more hands-on practice for the crew. Every day's training, um, this is uh, more familiarization. The target is this, a giant air-filled balloon dubbed the Killer Tomato. One, two, three! It's shoved out the side door, and when it comes around the port side, the tomato is indeed killed. But it's not all work. There is some downtime, too. There's a cookout below decks, a chance for the crew and guests to eat and unwind. There's also another opportunity for a sailor to test his aim. Instead of a killer tomato, this time the target is an officer. There we go. The pie toss is a fundraiser for charity. Right there. The cookout is taking place on what's called the well deck. When business on the anchorage turns serious, this area is flooded with seawater. The ship's huge back gate is lowered. This is where landing craft filled with Marines might begin their assault on an enemy beach. But this is a Tiger cruise, and instead of fierce Marines gathered on the well deck, it's a platoon of kids and adults armed with fishing poles. No, totally outstanding. This is a, this is a once in a lifetime deal. Oh, see that? For a brief time, the Navy's newest, most technically advanced warship becomes a fishing boat. This is an opportunity to do what it is you enjoy, to relax and uh, take your mind off the, the drudgery of life at sea. The fishing idea comes from the ship's executive officer, Joel Stewart an avid fisherman. When I get the sailors down here, there's usually a pretty good crowd. And in fact, we've jumped a couple marlin off the back and we caught a, uh, hooked a couple mahi and all that keeps it pretty enthusiastic. The Tiger cruisers get skunked, but memories are made. The well deck is sealed again. For the crew, it's back to work. <laughs> When this three-day trip is over, sailors aboard the USS Anchorage will have a better grasp of their new ship. And for Tiger cruisers, a unique view of life aboard a warship.